Hey guys, very cruelly yours. Um, I am going to review a movie today that um I've been meaning to pick up for a while. Um, I was actually going to order it off the internet because I never thought I would find this locally, but I did. Um, I don't know if Raiko picked this up or not. Either Raiko, I thought that Raiko was going to pick this up, but that might be the the original. Um, but. No, Raiko's not picked this up. I guess at the place I went, they just thought they should order it. But they had one to rent, which, I mean, it's the local independent DVD shop that I go to. So that's why they had this. I, you're not going to find this at Best Buy or anything. But I was really amazed to find it, and I was like, fuck it. I've been meaning to get it such when I haven't bought it. Black Devil Doll. Um, first of all, I'll just go ahead and give the plot to it. Um, and I use the word plot lightly. It's... Um, there was this black power militia guy called Mobia, who's played by the director Jonathan Lewis, who's the, you guys know the Lewis brothers, the guys that run Rotten Cotton. Um, Mobia is executed for um, raping and murdering uh, 15 Caucasian women, and then this girl is trying to figure out why her uncle made her put that in her mouth. Yeah, this dumbass white bitch is. And um, she summons Mobia, because... At 12 o'clock midnight, whenever she's playing with it, it was whenever he was executed, and he takes over her little uh, ventriloquist puppet and turns into the Black Devil doll. And then they begin a romantic relationship, because she just broke up with her boyfriend, um, White T, who is really probably one of the most retarded people I've ever seen in my life. And um, I say that because I go to school with kids that are exactly like this guy. The kind that you see that put uh, tinfoil um, from, like... Um, chewing gum on their teeth and say it's a grill that's the kind of like person this is he's this wannabe rapper who lives with his grandma and um so the black devil doll takes her over and he begins like giving her his black devil doll dick and uh, then um they get into an argument because he says that he wants more white bitches so he says that he loves her but if she calls her friends over then he can be with her and still get white bitches so she does and then her dumbass white bitch friends come over and, um, then it pretty much just begins, like, a raping, killing, necrophilia, slaughter fest. Um, and that's really all I'm going to say, because I don't want to give much of what, much about this away. Um, one thing about it, if you look at it on the cover, it says, this film offends everyone. It truly will. It makes, in all honesty, this film makes so much fun of black people and white people. It's hysterical. I think the only I think the only ethnicity that's like really popular in America or not popular like the most populated I meant to say populated um, ethnicity that it doesn't make fun of is um, Asian I'm pretty sure because it it doesn't make too many Mexican jokes but it, it has a couple of jabs in there like there's one part where this girl's like well at least they don't have to wipe at least they don't have to wash off shit or Mexican sweat from me so which the shit thing is a reference to another character though so that's not like being like racist or anything, but, um, it's purposely politically incorrect, because all the white bitches in it are dumb, and they're all, like, wannabe porn stars, and I'm, well, not wannabe, I'm pretty sure that most of them are, I mean, with such names like Precious Cox and, uh, Natalia Talons, I think it was Natalia, but it's something Talons, so you can pretty much tell where their career is gonna lead them to, um, so, I mean, it, it just, it shows, it pretty much shows white women as fucking idiots. That's really what it is, but um, I, I love politically incorrect stuff. I think it's hysterical. I think it's probably one of the wittiest since, um, the wittiest um, forms of humor, because if you do it wrong, you're going to get stabbed, and if you do it right, people are going to love it. Now, whenever I say there's no between wrong and right political incorrectness, this is good political incorrectness. Mel Gibson's drunken anti-Semitic slurs are bad political incorrectness. So there's a difference. I don't find crap like that funny at all, but if it's purposeful like this right here, I think it's hysterical. There's a part in it where she says, why do you use the N-word so much? And he's like, so it keeps, he's like, I say the N-word over a hundred times a day, it keeps my teeth white. And stuff like that. And he's like really vulgar and stuff. And he's like, I'm gonna slop up your pussy with my mama's buttermilk biscuit. And there's hilarious lines like that. Um... And, uh, there's this one point where, um, <laughs> it just, like, poking fun at how racist the movie actually is. There's a part where, um, there's, there's a gunfight, like an old west, spaghetti western style duel, and, um, the Black Devil doll's, uh, projectile weapon 
that pretty much shows you about how purposely racist the film is. I'm not going to spoil what it is. You have to see it for that. But that that was one of the funniest scenes. Um, it's it's it is a comedy. Don't go into this expecting a whole a lot of skin flicks because most of the girls that are in this are pretty nasty. I don't think that like fake boobs are attractive at all. I don't. And the only skinny ones in this are have fake boobs, and uh, the ones that have real boobs are fat. So pretty much, like I said, dumbass white bitch is pretty much the, the term that you'll use in this movie a lot. You'll get lots of N-words and lots of dumbass white bitches. And so, yeah, that's pretty much Black Devil Doll. Um, it doesn't take itself seriously, which is a good thing. The director, he paid homage. At the same time, he had a, he didn't add much new to it, but he, he presented it in a way that it wasn't horrible to watch. Um, editing's kind of bad in some places. There's some choppy stuff. There's a lot of, like, picture, like, slideshowy type um, image things that I didn't particularly care for, but, um, I don't know, it was fun. My friends are really not big into, um, crazy movies and stuff. Um, I think that I, I showed them, um, I showed them Header, and I showed them Sinful Dwarf, and they love those, and, uh, then I showed them, uh, Deadbeat at Dawn, and they love that, and, like, some short films, like, Roadkill and My Sweet Satan and stuff, and they like that, but pretty much all the other stuff that's really extreme, they didn't like at all. So, um, but they, they love this, so, I mean, in all honesty, if you like the political, like, politically incorrect humor, I think you'll really like this, because my friends, they're, they're, they aren't used to watching movies like this, but, uh, yeah, it's a really nice case, but just, yeah, Oakland Fried Chicken. Whenever the movie itself comes with a blackface gag, before you even put the disc in, it's already showing you how racist it is. Um, but, yeah, check it out. It's it's pretty good. It, it really is. It's not as all what I thought. I think that it would have done better if it had more, in all honesty, more hardcore. I think that they actually included hardcore scenes in this with puppet dick in dumbass white bitch. Then that probably would have added a little bit more to it because I didn't feel like it had enough... Um, I, didn't, I really didn't feel like I had enough sex in it. There's only one character that does full frontal nudity, and there's a part where he's actually having sex with a couple of them with their panties on, which I thought was... I absolutely hate that in movies. Anytime that there's a sex scene where the characters are clothed, especially in an exploitation film, that ruins it for me. It truly does. So, in that aspect, I didn't like it for the sex, but the comedy and um, some of the gore and stuff, it was really good. And like I said, it was a really good throwback. But the sex was kind of horrible anyway because the girls were unattractive. But um, it, it's really a nasty, nasty movie that is entirely offensive. It will offend everyone if you go into it with this kind of like, oh, attitude. So I'm talking in circles right now. I know I am because I'm half out of it. I just got back from Cherokee. So if you have not seen Black Devil Doll and you like political incorrectness, um nasty white bitches, or verbally abusive black dolls, then, uh, check this one out, because it's, to say it's fantastic would be a little bit of an overstatement, because there's a lot of things about it I didn't like, but at the same time, there's enough in it that I did like to where I would give this, like, an 8 out of 10.